answer something for me. Why do we Christians sometimes say shame on you or shame on them? Why? Doesn't the Bible tell us that we don't have to feel shame? Jesus' blood has washed us clean. We are free from all shame, from all condemnation, from all accusations against us. As long as we are underneath the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus. So who are we to open our mouth and speak shame on you? That's in a sense a word curse. The Bible tells us the power of life and death is in our tongue. The Bible compares in James our tongue being the smallest the smallest part of the body. Think of a rotor that steers the boat. It can steer a huge boat, yet it is tiny. But just like a small flame can start a forest fire, so can the tongue start a fire. We must be intentional. We have absolutely no business throwing shame on other people. I'm all for letting your convictions be yours and mine be mine. So there's no judgment here. But I will say it is God's kindness that leads others to repentance. So throwing shame, in my opinion, is never extending the true agape, unconditional love of Christ. So if this is something that you've struggled with saying, you know that there's also no shame for you. I too have struggled with this. But then the Lord really convicted me of it one day and told me, Brittany, it's not right. Who are you to say to your children, shame on you? And I had to repent and say, oh, my Lord, oh, my God, forgive me, have mercy. Who am I? We are but dust. God does not shame us. So who are you to shame someone else? I'm going to run in Walmart, guys, now and catch up with my family. We forgot our card, so I had to run back home. But we, we love you guys, and we thank you all for tuning into our channel. God bless you in Jesus' name.